Oh, that scared me. I hate that. I love the random experience you get for just disarming a trap. It's nice having the squad, I must say. I missed it. Boon, where's your fucking gun? And what did you take from this person? He took a pistol. He better not- oh fuck. I'll shoot your fucking head off. What are you doing over here, Boon? Now he has a sniper out. I don't know what he's doing. Oh shit. Like shock and rain? Bitch. Reloading! God damn it, that always scares me whenever it does that. Alright. Well. This place is a maze. As are most Fallout cells. Or whatever. Okay. Random stuff in here. Nothing of particular use besides this, potentially. I don't want a sensor module. I didn't. I didn't want to send to Muji. I'm already mo over. I'm already almost over encumbered. There we go. Just gotta keep trying at it. You'll get it eventually. <laughs> you looking for trouble? Don't try and play the Jericho act. That doesn't work on me anymore. Only Jericho can pull the Jericho act. Boone cannot. He's just. He's just not Jericho. Jericho has that weird, like, New York accent. Say what you want. Say what you gotta say, then get the fuck out my face. A lot of stuff in here. Damn, just random junk that I don't really fucking need. Okay. What's down here? We really didn't explore down here too well, did we? Damn. I mean, I like the experience I'm getting from this, but... At least everything's easy. Take, 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 keep hardwood log. What the fuck? Okay. It's kind of worth money, too. I'm sure that's made, meant for, like, making a weapon out of or something. I'm sure. You know, I got the scrounger perk, or whatever the ammo equivalent to that is, and I haven't been finding a lot of ammo. Trying to piss me off. So I've been through here, right? I see a dead ghoul. Okay, so what's this all about? Well, no. Ain't this a bitch? It's over here. Bad guy. <laughs> I don't even know if I did any damage to this motherfucker. Oh, okay. This place is a factory. We now know this place is a factory. I did not know that. <laughs> Bitch! Sitch down! Oh shit. Crotch shots, crotch shots.
A lot of dead nightkins. Thank God I don't have to fight them. They look big. Is that oh. Okay. Well, we're in the, the assembly floor of this part of the fucking building. It's dark as shit, though. Kind of creepy. I like it. I, in fact, like it a lot. Ew, where'd my health go? I was not paying attention to that. Let's drink some uh, uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. Maybe get a star bottle cap for whatever. Anything? Nope. I don't know if I got a star bottle cap or not. I wasn't looking. Wasn't looking. I'll just assume I did and feel good about myself. <laughs> God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Wh wh what? Your pranks won't work on me, smooth skin. They won't work on Jason either. So he thinks he's... What? Stop wasting my time, smooth skin. Go waste Jason's. Does he think he's a, a ghoul? I'll fucking kill him. Just kidding, I would never. Jason can suck my left nut right now. Because I'm gonna... I, don't, I guess there's no enemies, so... Car's key. Are you Jason? What's with the... The holy fire will carry us to our salvation. Uh, a bunch of fucking crazies. That's all we need. You gonna open this door for me? You are. Thank you, dude. Destroyed party... What the fuck? You gonna take some party hats? Is that what you're... Phone, go away. Damn, why does my phone do that? Every now and then it'll vibrate, notifying me of a fucking video that was uploaded. Can't help but notice they're always Pootie Pie videos. I think YouTube knows that Pootie Pie's channel is ridiculously um, successful, so they just keep feeding hey it, and feeding it, and feeding it. Someone said that they were automatically subscribed to Pootie Pie, which wouldn't surprise me. Like, you, f you figure YouTube makes money off of everything that's on YouTube. So if a channel is doing good, YouTube is going to promote it because they're making money off it. I'm not saying that that's what's happening, but it just it's odd that the only fucking one... I don't know. Just being, just being observant. Anyways, Jason, wake the fuck up. You ghoul. You glowing-ass ghoul. I'll kill you if you make a move. Get myself into a corner. Hello, Wanderer. Please, Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? By blowing your brain, your glowing brains out? Yeah, sure. What's the deal with the human you let me in? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the great journey. How about you get the guy a fucking mirror? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. And who the fuck are they? The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost, nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, 
their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once Wait a again, minute. the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Wait a minute, are you talking about the Nightkin? Those dead looking, those purple super mutant things with the hoods? Is that what you're talking about? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Sure, as long as it's, you know, something I can shoot. <laughs> Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. Okay. Nightkin, yep, I knew it. Alright, that's great. So we're gonna be fighting Supermutants. That's what I wanted to hear. That is definitely what I wanted to hear. Hey. This sucks. <laughs> I do not want to be fighting super mutants. Damn it! I'm really tired too. <sighs> Got work tonight. Gotta get to class. In like 15 minutes, I have to leave. I really don't want to go to work tonight. I'm so t I got like four hours of sleep. I could not sleep for some reason. My eyes are just retardedly tired and heavy. I was going to work out tonight, but I might have to skip that because I don't have an energy so as it is, and I'm going to be a zombie at work and end up cursing somebody out and get fired. I would take a nap, but whenever I take a nap, I feel like shit when I wake up because I just feel like I should keep sleeping. I'm not good at Dark like, in here. If you want to use a skill to spot for it, keep you on target. What did you just say to me, Boo? What is it? I don't know. Are you an outlaw? I don't care, me, Vargas. What is blah 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 blah? blah. Um. All right. Anyways, let's fuck shit up, shall we? I don't know what we're gonna be fighting down here. I mean, I know. Don't know what to expect in the fights, though. scared. Maybe I should use a very terrible shotgun. Or a, a really terrible shot. Whatever. Terrible shotgun. Yeah. I have weapon repair kits. We're gonna shoot the living shit out of these fuckers. I promise you that. I'm gonna shove this barrel in their face. I see. Come here! Oh, sh that does no damage at all. Help me! Help! Oh god damn! Yeah, that that goes through too much ammo. I can't use this gun. I knew I couldn't use this gun. Why did I even try to use this gun? They're just so damaging. They're not even fucking special. They're using fucking stealth boys. I can use a stealth boy. I'm not gonna go around saying, oh, look at me, I'm Jesus, so I can walk on water with a stealth boy. Nope. They're a bunch of phonies. They're big fat phonies! Uh. What the fuck? Do you hear that, boys? Watch your six. Can I pick these up? No. He's a big fat phony! Oh my god, dude, they have so many hit points. I hate them. Ah! Oh, we don't like shotgun rain. You don't like shotgun rain. Maybe this shotgun rain is better than a really terrible shotgun. Shotgun rain, shotgun rain, shotgun rain. Let's see, this does 105 per sh yeah, second shot, whatever. 1.6 by 7. Ew! This does so much more damage per shot. This literally does 8. Eight times whatever. I don't know math. I do know math, but bitch, sit down. 
Shotgun Rain tells you to do something, you fucking do it. There's no questioning Shotgun Rain. We need to get you armor, Boone. Inf indeed we do. No helmets, remember, just armor. Body armor. Helmets are forbidden. If you're a follower of mine, you do not have a helmet. You're fucking dead. That was all shotgun rain. That was all shotgun rain. Maybe you guys helped a little bit. You guys were my moral support. How about that? That sounds good to me. I'm sorry if I sound mumbly. I feel like I sound mumbly. If I do, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm just very tired. School and work has been... They're, they're literally kicking the shit out of me. I have reached my midterms, so, you know, I've been kind of brain dead from midterms, but that means I've hit, reached my halfway mark, and that's progress, which leads to motivation, and motivation is progress, and vice versa, so. In a sense, I'm happy, and, uh, feel like a tr- oh! oh! I feel like a million bucks that I've been doing this good in school, but at the same time, I'm getting the shit kicked out of me. Like I said, I've been working out a lot lately. Um, so physically, I'm beat. I don't know. I got a busy life. Got a very busy life. Ironically enough, uh, no. <coughs> I don't even know what I was gonna say. I'm just I'm mumbling now, and I'm hacking up mucus because uh, you know it gets really hot and then it gets really cold you know that's October in PA for you very weird weather we have up here a lot of people are getting sick a lot of people I'm gonna knock on wood but I haven't gotten sick like legitimately sick I haven't been legitimately sick since fucking hey four years ago I had the flu four years ago the flu man I have a phobia for the flu not even lying I hate the flu hate it, it is the worst thing ever the worst thing. Hands down. Though I'm sure AIDS and cancer is high up there too, but I'm saying the flu just sucks. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I barely ever get the sniffles. I barely get <laughs> the sniffles. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a mature word. I barely ever get that. I barely ever... I barely ever get sick. Sometimes I'll feel really shitty and I'll just sleep it off, but... It's like once in a blue moon. But yeah, halfway... Halfway there. Got Thanksgiving coming up in uh, about a month. That'll be some time off from school and we'll not work, unfortunately. <laughs> and then December's right around the corner, so, you know, I got some time off from school there, and then my next semester starts. And, you know, before you know it, I'll be two years down in college and two years closer to making real money and getting away from Target. That'd be nice. Target is just depression. The only thing good about working at Target is the people I work with. But <clears throat> that's 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 about it. Retail sucks. Like the managers are awesome. The people I work with are awesome, but the people who shop there are assholes. And um, I've just recently been getting a really bad attitude about work. I know it's not good, but at the same time, it's like I don't know. I don't like taking shit from people, and it's really hard for me to bite my tongue when I take sh when or I'm given shit by people. Especially from people who I have zero respect for. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I can't explain the person, but I'm sure you know what I mean. There's some people who are just assholes, and, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, when you work retail and customer service and all that stuff is important, I'm like the worst person for that type of job. So it would seem. I don't even know where I'm going. I just literally walked in a circle. 